Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 79 of Be With Me. This is uh, the last paragraph of the book of 1 Corinthians, and I want to draw a picture, uh, a verbal picture in your head. And this is an individual Corinthian believer, and then there's seven arrows pointed towards that believer. And the arrows are, are efforts of hugs and kisses, of greetings coming from different sources from different sets of people okay so one of the one of the sources is the churches in asia that is on the other side of the uh, aegean sea another arrow that's pointing toward them with hugs and kisses is people that they know that is aquila and prisca old friends who used to live in corinth the third one is churches that meet in uh Aquila and Prisca's house in Ephesus. These are believers likely that they don't know, but kind of a small group of people. Then Paul expands it. Another arrow that points to them is all the brotherhood, all Christians, kind of this universal Christians. May they send you hugs and kisses. And then Paul says, I want to send you hugs and kisses. And then, of course, the Lord is sending hugs and kisses. That's how this whole thing gets started. And he says, while we're at it, why don't you go ahead and hug and kiss yourself? But then there's this other group, and the word that's used for them is accursed. So we'll get to that. Okay, let me read the passage. This is from 1 Corinthians 16, 19. These are the last words of the book of 1 Corinthians. Uh, Listen for all these hugs and kisses that are sent. The churches of Asia send you greetings. That's number one. Number two, Aquila and Prisca. That's a man and a wife uh, together with the church in their house. That's second and third groups that send hugs that send you hearty greetings in the Lord. Verse 20, all the brothers send you greeting. That's the fourth one. The fifth one, greet one another with uh, a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting with my hand. That's another one. And then this, this is the one that's sort of outside the hugs and kisses party. If anyone has no love for the Lord, let him be accursed. Our Lord come. Now back to the party. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. So Jesus sends his hugs and kisses. And then Paul, just not to be outdone, sends his twice. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. So think of all these groups that are sending hugs and kisses towards the individual Corinthian believer. First of all, it's this Asia, like the the province of Asia. It's a Roman province of Asia. That's where the seven churches of the Revelation are there. Pergamum, Thyatira, Smyrna, Philadelphia, Laodicea, Colossae, all these churches. The churches of Asia send you greetings, send you hugs and kisses. So that's kind of cool. That's the first sentence. Second is Aquila and Prisca. Now, who are those guys? There's, uh, uh, Aquila is a guy from Asia. They're world travelers. They were in Rome. They got expelled from Rome because they were Jews. Jewish, um, They weren't Jewish Christians at the time. They were expelled from Rome. So they were away from home in Rome, got expelled in 55 AD. They found themselves in Corinth. That's where Paul met them on the second missionary journey. And Paul liked them so much, worked with them as tent makers, and then uh, ministered to them by taking them to Ephesus. And this is where uh, Paul is currently writing from. And then we're going to find them, again, world travers. They're going to go back to Rome uh, later in the New Testament, and they're going to end up in Ephesus again later in the New Testament. But the point is, these are people that the people from Corinth knew because that's where they were for at least 18 months. So these are people well known to them and they send their hugs and kisses because they're with Paul in Ephesus right now across the Aegean Sea and they want to greet you. These are great people. They uh, uh, ministered as a couple. They're always mentioned together. They're mentioned six times in the New Testament. They they have the facility to, to rebuke uh, even Apollos. The point is you're not in this alone. You've got God inside you and you have all these people that are surrounding you. They have a church in their house. They're a great, uh, a great couple. They send their greetings. So you're getting greetings from churches and missionaries and house churches and brothers. So all the brothers, kind of this universal church, sends their hugs and kisses. Paul sends his hugs and kisses twice. Even the Lord sends his hugs and kisses twice. 
All right, so then verse 22, let him be accursed. So, But there's this line here, if anyone has no love for the Lord, that is, if a person has a committed uh, decision against the Lord, let those who have cut themselves off from the Lord, let them be cut off. In other words, let them get exactly what they deserve. There's another passage in Galatians that says if someone is preaching a gospel contrary, same same idea, if there's no love and if there's no truth, then let them be cut, cut off. Now, the Bible also says to pray for your enemies, but it, it does kind of give you a heads up here is know who you and en- know who your enemies are. And I think here that if a person is demonstrating no love for the Lord in a set, volitional, committed way, that is, they decided against the Lord, I think this is a prayer for justice. That is getting exactly what they deserve, getting what they're asking for, which is let them be cut off from the Lord. I want to be cut off from the Lord. And then what Paul is saying, then said, fine, if you want to you know, go play in the road, then go ahead and go play in the road. If you want to be away from God, then then be cut off from God. Also, I think the teaching points of this passage are, remember all these supporting structures, Mr. In- individual Corinth, the person. You've got the churches in Asia greeting you. You've got Priscilla and a- a- Prisca and Aquila greeting you. Old friends, you've got ch- the church that meets in their house greeting you. You have all the universal brotherhood greeting you. You have Paul greeting you twice. You have the Lord's grace greeting you. And then you've got yourselves Hugs and kisses, and by the way, go, go and give yourselves hugs and kisses. I think teaching points is, are you happy to be in the body of Christ? And if so, tell your face. Um, and do the people in the body of Christ know that you're excited about them? May we be the people who have a love for the Lord and love for the Lord's people. May they know it. Close people, far away people, associated people, and universal people. But know who our enemies are. Know who know those who want to be cut off, and may they get justice. Hopefully, like the rest of us who have received mercy, which is getting not getting what you deserve, and those of us who have received grace, which is getting more than they deserve, may they eventually head over to our group. In the meantime, at least let them get justice, which is separation from God. Thanks for listening.